What's going on everybody, Doc from Average Gamer guys, back yet again, more Rocket League action in a quick short video as the Velocity Crate has started dropping as of today, super excited and we've got our hands on one so I wanted to pop in, wanted to take a look at it, take a look at all that the Velocity Crate has for us today and what you guys are hopefully going to be seeing as they drop over the next couple weeks and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a couple more of them and uh, you know crack them open here in the near future and grab some items out of them but I was lucky enough in my playing today to snag one of these which never never happens for me so I'm super excited let's jump in let's take a look at this so first and foremost as always it's a pretty standard crate we get four rare decals all of them pretty cool we get four uh, very rares, three imports, and then two of our exotics. And then finally after that, I'm going to save the black markets and we'll take a look at those when we get down there. So first and foremost, uh, the Octane Slimline actually looks really nice. If you're a fan of a, like, a very standard look uh, on your cars, nothing too flashy, but something that gives it just a little bit of flair, this looks pretty good actually. I'm a pretty big fan of this. A lot of people really like the standard Octane and I, I want to say it's been a little while since we've seen a cool Octane decal or really just an Octane decal uh, at all. So it's nice to see one in here and this one's looking pretty good. Like I said, very simple, slim line, just very cut and dry but, but pretty neat. Uh, the next thing we get is the Breakout Type S S'mored. Um, this one's pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, and it actually looks pretty good on this car as well. This isn't overly flashy. You get a little bit of, uh, you get the roasted up there in the top corner, which is pretty funny. The s'more on the top. Uh, I actually like that. If I was a breakout user, which I'm a big fan of the breakout S, I really do like this car style. Um, I would probably put this on there for a little while. It's a little bit, uh, more to it than the slim one that we just had, but it looks pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of this. I like that. Um, the next thing we get is the Animus GP Oddfish. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Um, I don't see a ton of people using the Animus anymore. It definitely was one of those import cars that everybody wanted at first. And then as they started to use it, they realized they were just going to swap back to the Octane. <laughs> and that's what a lot of people did. So uh, it's okay. It's nice to see that they're still trying to keep it alive. And I'm sure there are definitely Animus users out there, but uh, this, not the best of decals in my mind. And then the Endo, which is a car that I used for a very long time, uh, it was a big fan of, still a big fan of the body style. We get the mummified uh, rare decal here, and it's okay. Um, it's neat. I, I think it's a decent pattern. I think actually the, the mummy kind of like face on the front of it kind of, detracts from it a little bit if it was just like the stripes I actually kind of like these stripes I think those are pretty neat uh, they're pretty cool looking and again uh, none of these too flash or too crazy but uh, but some decent ones in here um, so next thing more importantly I've always been a big fan especially in the last couple crates of the very rare wheels so these are the Yuzos and I just don't know how I feel about them they seem pretty similar to what I have on from uh, rocking my car but um, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's enough wheel here for me, which is might be the one reason that I am not the biggest fan of them. Although I do think these painted, since these are kind of like an off gray color that we're getting right now, as you can tell, they're not really white. They're kind of a shade darker. I Like I said, I, I would call them like an off gray or an off white color. I think these painted could be really, really cool. And usually the very rare wheels are really neat. Uh, painted. I would love to see them in white. I'd love to see them in like a cobalt. Actually, would be really really cool as well. So um, I'll keep my I'll keep uh, I'll keep my interest out on these ones. I think these are pretty cool. The next thing that I that I'm going to show you, I am a huge fan of this anodized uh, very rare paint finish is dope. This is so cool. I want to get this right now and put it on my car. Just look at, I mean, look at the difference. So that's just uh, just matte, I think. Um, this just, it, it just makes everything pop. I love the reflective color on it. Um, uh, the reflection of light is just so cool. 
Like, I'm a huge, huge fan of this. This is probably one of the best, very rare paint finishes that we've gotten in a while. And I, like, will be so excited when I open one of these. Uh, I can't even begin to describe to tell you. So the next thing we get is we get the zigzag, uh, very rare trail here, which actually looks pretty cool. You got a little, uh, it... It kind of comes out into like a zigzag motion and then you get a little bit of kind of like bubbles uh, and circles shooting in the back. It's a cool two-tone kind of color um, that's coming out. I, I'm This isn't bad. This is pretty neat. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of these rare trails. I would have preferred uh, like a boost for instance, but we'll get one of those when we get to the imports. Um, but it's not terrible. I think it's pretty neat. It's definitely something different. It definitely fits the style of the crate. Again, they wanted to go back to like the 80s uh, style with this. You know, everything very, you know, neon colors, purples, pinks, you know, the light blues. So um, I think it definitely fits and it's, pr it's pretty cool. Um, one thing that I think that we get that, uh, you know, Mantis users out there will definitely really enjoy. Everybody seems to really like the snake skin, especially at the very rare level. This is one of those decals you can get. It looks good. It's got a cool animation on the back. And, uh, you know, for the Mantis, there are a few Mantis users out there still. Definitely still see this car. Um, uh, you know, just because of the body style and how it plays in the hitbox. Um, so for those of you out there, boom, you got yourself the snakeskin, which is pretty cool. Now, the piece resistance, I will say, for this, especially at the import level and below, is going to be... The Imperator DT5. Now this thing, how do I put this? I like this. This is definitely that old school style. Um, it's definitely a little bit more retro. It is pretty clean. Um, it's a neat car. It's a neat car. I don't know if I will use this if I do get it. I will be very interested to see what comes painted on it. Um, I feel like it's going to be a lot kind of like the Endo. Um, where we're really just getting, um, you know, the finishes on the bottom, maybe right around the windows, getting those painted. Um, maybe this little black uh, splash in the back will probably be about it, um, as we've come to see with a lot of the cars recently. Um, but I do like this. I think it's pretty neat. I would be really interested to see if we do get one. I do want to check out the decals that come with this because I think they could make this pop. With it being pretty plain as we're seeing it right now, it's not terrible. It's neat. Like I said, I like it. I, I think it's a cool body style. It might not just be, it just might not be exactly for me, uh, but it's definitely one of the more neat cars that we've had in a while. So I'm pretty excited for it. It definitely fits, again, it fits the crate. It fits the whole style of everything. I'm pretty excited for that. Next thing we've got is the hero wheels. Um, now these at the import level, I would have expected to be a little bit more, I guess, flashy. But I'm also becoming a big fan of just kind of, you know, nice, clean, neat wheels. What I'll be interested to see is what ends up becoming colored on these. So obviously we've got like that yellow little splash. It's a yellow or kind of almost like an orange little splash right there in the middle. I'll be curious to see if, if they're colored, if that is what changes, or if the rest of the wheel changes and that remains. That could either be really good for some people or it could be very bad for some people, uh, especially with the customization. People like to keep their wheels looking a specific way. They like them to match their cars. I know I do. So it'll be very interesting to see. I do like these. They're very clean wheel. They're very neat. Um, it'll be just kind of interesting to see how those fold out. Fractal Fire uh, is our import boost. This is pretty cool. Um, it's just kind of like a mix to me of a few different uh, boosts that we've seen in the past. You got kind of like polygonal, and then you know I think it can, has a, a similar effect of uh, some of the other fire boosts. It's pretty neat. Again, it fits with the style of the crate, so I'm happy with that. I think that's cool. There's definitely going to be a lot of people out there using it. This will be one of those boosts that it, when it's colored, you're really, really going to be able to see because you have it essentially in cobalt at this point. Um, I think you're really going to be able to tell, especially if you get some of the other colors going. And a lot of people really like that. You also have probably some slight color variation. As you see, uh, 
some of the kind of like polygons that come out that are a little bit lighter blue I think that's really cool too so we'll have to see uh, with this one but definitely one to keep an eye out for and definitely one to keep an eye out for uh, with it being painted now we have the equalizers these wheels are sweet I think they did a great job on these I was really I always look at the exotic wheels um, as well as the black market decals just to kind of see um, you know what new what different things they're doing here and these I think a lot of people are really gonna like you have a full wheel that's gonna give you two-tone color um, they remind me a little bit of the Zambas the fact that you've got something going on a couple other different wheels out there that have multiple colors I think these are gonna be awesome I think um, it, this is a really cool uh, paint uh, you know to get it in with the pink and you know the light blue the sky blue um, but I think seeing these painted is going to be even more awesome. I'm super excited for these. Um, I love the pattern on them. I love that you've got them, uh, you know, j juking and jiving up and down, just like, uh, you know, mixing uh, on the radio. It's it's really cool. I'm super excited for these. I think they did an absolute awesome job, and I'm really happy with them. I'm really, really happy. We had some letdowns a couple of crates ago with our fidget spinner wheels and just some terrible stuff. These definitely are not it. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be looking for these uh, and we'll end up really liking them. They're pretty cool. Um, and then we have get the Hikari P5s. Now these, when I first saw them, I guess they actually spoiled them. And it's hard in a still picture to kind of get a feel for these. When I first saw these, just looking at the picture, I was kind of let down a little bit for the sole fact of it didn't seem like they had a whole lot going on. As I watch the animation on these wheels, the animation is probably one of the coolest ones that we have. The fact that you have really essentially two patterns going around. These are another very clean wheel that I will love to see painted. Um, I think they're really cool. I think these are going to look really good when it comes to a car that maybe doesn't have um, the entirety of the wheel enclosed like mine does. And you're going to be able to see the top as you can kind of see, uh, you know, you get some of the some of the coloring on top as well but another again like if I had these and they were painted white I would be using them just because I really like how they look and again I'm becoming a big fan of the clean wheels I think you have two really awesome exotic wheels here um, that I'll, honestly I'll be super excited to get so great job up until this point on this crate the next couple things in my opinion are kind of a letdown and go back to what me and Sloth have been talking about in an earlier episode um, we get more goal explosions we actually get four goal explosions two of which though we have seen before so we get sub-zero and we get party time again and again sub-zero is pretty cool party time also pretty cool there's a lot of people out there that use these two but I'm pretty upset and I'm pretty disappointed at this portion of the crate like I said the rest of the crate honestly is pretty good this portion of the crate, I'm just a little upset with. The reason for this being, I would have loved to see something new instead of something in these slots. And I would have been fine if they would have put one, or, you know, of these in. Instead of putting these in, I would have loved to see a black market decal. I would have loved to see a mystery decal in here. I would have loved to see something new that's universal for the car that's not a goal explosion. Now, with that being said, not to make this super negative we have the dueling dragons which I think is an absolutely really really cool goal explosion that we're getting essentially two fireworks come out and boom you get these two dragons that crisscross this is really cool this is probably one of the cooler goal explosions definitely something that people are gonna be looking out for and wanting to get 100 percent then we have polypop which is a little bit more kind of like sub-zero ish if you will it's a little bit more clean it's a little bit more you know nothing super super fancy about it but it is really neat I like that it essentially comes in as a big polygon ball and then it explodes and, and essentially shatters everywhere it is a cool goal explosion these two goal goal explosions are really neat in my opinion I guess my disappointment here comes with I think they could have added these in and then also put in a mystery decal that would have made people pretty happy even to the point of maybe instead of bringing in two old goal explosions maybe bring in a new mystery decal one new black market goal explosion keep one of these for later and then 
bring in maybe an old black market decal that's just out there or hasn't been around for a while. I think until they do that, that will be the only thing that will make these crates better in my opinion. Again, I've got no problem them continuing to add in some of these old things because again, if you haven't opened a lot of crates um, or you just luck wasn't with you and you haven't been able to pick these up or trade for them, um, these two being in here are now going to make the ones out on the market much cheaper. As people open these up, they're going to get more of them, so they're going to be willing to trade them for, for less. But on top of that, um, it makes them more accessible for just people opening them in general. And if you happen to stumble upon either of these two, say you really like them, then you probably won't be too disappointed if you haven't had them already where you're picking them up. Now for me, if I'm opening these crates, I have Sub-Zero. I don't really want party time, so if I ended up getting party time, I'll probably be a little bit disappointed, I guess, although how disappointed can you be with a black market for not ended up picking up one of the two new ones. And that's where I think they would do themselves a little bit of a, ser of, of a service if they put in something new as well as something old and then try to get back to the black market decals. I think that's really where a lot of the trading community goes to and I think that's a lot of where a lot of the hype for the crates goes to because once you find these wheels, once maybe you get the painted version that you're looking for, once maybe you pick up the import car, everything else after that um, is you know pretty easy to trade for to be honest with you unless you're looking for something very very specific. Um, so I just think that not to go on a tirade or take this completely off subject, but that's kind of where I think this could go uh, as far as making a better crate. But I wanted to give you guys a quick look at it. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes uh, of your day and just taking a look at what's in these crates. Hopefully you guys are able to pick some of these up. Again, they are dropping right now for you. No update needed, so you'll be able to hop in, play some games, and you'll be able to pick some of them up. And, uh, and yeah, just good luck with it. Hopefully you get something cool. If you do, leave a comment down below. If this video was helpful or you really enjoyed it, um, you know, leave, leave a comment, leave a like, really do appreciate it. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We do a ton of Rocket League, Call of Duty, Halo Wars 2, plenty of other games coming to the channel as well uh, as the holiday season rolls around. So just make sure to stick around and hang out with us. We really do appreciate it. So I've been Doc with Average Gamer Guys. As always, thanks so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me, and we'll catch you in the next one.